<clears throat> How we doing? <clears throat> Good morning to you. Happy Saturday, everyone. Is the AV working today? I do hope so. Looks like it is. <clears throat> Hole in one. I've Can never had one since. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, D Storm. And for the record, pups voice and GPS in my car? Hell no. <laughs> yeah, I'm good, thank you, Darren. Just getting going here. <clears throat> I really like these trains, I think they're so cool. I wish you could do stuff around your. Um, station just to kind of blend it in you know it's one of the things you can do in skylines but you can't do in this i know it's not really a city design game but it'd be so nice if you could just kind of you know blend that in so it's not all grass and stuff oh my god how many people are waiting here dear me dear me they've got an absolute metric ton of vehicles and they can't move people what See a bit of a problem here, though. Not gonna lie, that's a bit of a traffic issue. Someone is setting off fireworks at 11 a.m. What? Hmm. You can see the red circuit doing that. That's doing a truck drop, isn't it? I just well, I can see why we can't move passengers. <laughs> maybe it's the trucks just interfering with everything, or maybe there's just too many green trams now. <clears throat> Time for bus lanes. We should, I think we've already got them, haven't we? Oh no, we've not. No, we've not. Yep. Time for bus lanes. Good spot. Uh, let's see streets. Bus lane electric. Let's go. Gotta keep things moving. This is why I, I keep saying I wish I could overlay that onto this kind of upgrade view here. So I can see where my trams are going and where my trucks are going, what I need to upgrade. Celebratory bunting. Are you going to continue till you're Let's bored? Get the train going. Or is it a specific year you're working towards? I don't know, Alex. I, it kind of, it's hard to say. It doesn't really have a, an end goal. I mean, I don't know how big these cities are going to get to. The, I think there is a limit. I remember the mod saying there is a limit. So we're going to reach a point where there's, you know, not a great deal to do, as it were. Thank you, D-Storm. Thank you for a thousand bits and getting the train going. Uh, really, Rob, thank you for 51. TJ Sadson, thank you for a month. Ruben, thanks for 20. Yeah, I yeah, I agree, Alex, but I kind of want to... I feel like we're completely in the end game. And we're in more of the end game than you normally are because of the natural growth mod. You never get these problems normally. Um, and I'm curious as to where it all goes. I don't know. I don't have a fixed endpoint. Like, I'm not going to get to 2100 and go, right, that's it, we're done. I, it's just a feeling, I think. Yeah, I think in the next playthrough, Findog, I've already lined up the expanded industry and industry level, what's it called? Increased industry levels or something. And then, yeah, we might play on a, on a slightly on hard difficulty or something like that and see how we get on. Probably end badly, but hey ho. They're still not moving. Why are they still not moving? Is it because of this? Wow. 
Why am I not allowed to upgrade that? Construction not possible. Why? Why is construction not possible? Are we too close to the beach? Oh, that's expensive. Seven buildings removed. Rip. It's going to keep these trams moving. Construction not possible. I think it must be a beach thing. If I to use a timetable mod, I don't know what the timetable mod is. Mr. D-Storm, dropping bits and now dropping 10 subs, you legend. Thank you so much. Can we get some squirrel gift in chat for D-Storm? I'm not even awake yet and he's dropping subs. Honestly, I'm struggling. <laughs> I need a coffee. <laughs> D-Storm, mate, thank you so much. If you just got a sub, give me a thank you, guys. Has the boat route been fixed so it's not laggy anymore? Which boat route? One second. I want to fix this better road here. Right. He's gone. Two million. Yikes. Two stops will be removed. Yeah, it's not going to turn. I've got a better plan. These people who love their beach. We'll just give them a bit more beach. Look at that. We just pour in a load of sand. Why can you still not build it? There's loads of room. Oh, no, they don't want grass. No, don't give them grass. No, no. There we go. Beach. I don't get it. You fell asleep watching me this morning. <laughs> Well, thank you for gifting us up to Nico. Why can't we build this, guys? Doesn't make any sense to me. What's the deal? There you go. Have it that way, then. They'll just have to move the properties back in. Oh my god, the traffic! Why can't the green go this way? I feel like the green route is not correct. It's like we're doing a lot of shenanigans. The time seven model allows you to schedule trains. It makes planning more interesting and a lot more in-depth. Oof. I think we'll just go for the industry one. Don't think I like the idea of timetables when in a game where I can't control traffic either. Broken tram on green line. No, it's not a broken tram. There's something wrong with the line. You see the way it kind of does crazy stuff. This one. Let me make it a different color. Let's do that with it. Now, this is meant to be anti-clockwise, so it's kind of supposed to come along here, then go that way, surely. So after seven, why is it going to Lake Street? Feels like it's out of step, unless I've got this wrong. It's just weirdness. It should go 5th Street, then Lake Street, I think. 5th Street, then Lake Street. Then there, then there, then there. Then Lee Street. Okay, 
getting there. Maybe I should just rebuild the whole thing. Need to make sure we've got um, bus lanes here. The right side of the loop is a tram off the track at the junction. How am I supposed to fix that? I'm not sure where you're seeing that. <coughs> I knew that was coming. Do you mean this one? They're just sat there, like, completely stuck. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to have to move that truck stop. Um... Let's get that moved. I presume it's a con mat drop off. See, we've got kind of two areas for con mat now. That one and that one. Where is that? Let's do two runs. Combat one, combat two. Montana two. There and there. No, hang on. Where do we put these? That's one of them. That's one of the truck stops. There it is. So you can go there. It doesn't like that. Ash Street, Fontana, Combat reports problems. What's the problem? This is going south quickly. This is one ugly city. Oh, I didn't build it. <laughs> um, combat one. I don't know what's wrong with it though. I'm curious as to why we can't build that. You put bus stops in. I knew something was wrong. I told you I haven't woke up yet. Right, if I put that, replace existing, and then replace existing, that should do it. Yeah, I need a coffee. <laughs> Why can't I upgrade this road? Let's go around doing expensive Oi. redevelopment. Oi. 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 
What? Game plus. What's going on? Look, city planners yeah. moving. Don't miss a trick. Having to tear this city apart to fix it. AI makes some odd shapes, yeah. Right, so. That's looking a bit better. We still have a lot of congestion through here, though. What if... Give them some more options. How did he get here when he's not even rooted to go there? Good afternoon if you're just joining. Might not stay long, firefighter. You have to finish a quest in Elder Scrolls Online. No worries. This this tram does appear to be 100%. Like, broken. Oh, there we go. I need to I need to do a London. I need to create an ultra low emission zone and kick all these cars out. That's what I need to do. Right, so one, two, three, four. Actually, let's replace all of them. And then Half of them can go on the other line. Okay, that should help a little bit. Oh my god, come on. Traffic gridlock. Yeah, well, I found that it doesn't, just removing traffic lights doesn't always fix things. It kind of does and kind of doesn't sometimes. I've removed traffic lights and just had cars colliding into each other. Wow, something, something is irritating my nose and making me sneeze. Blimey. There we go. Remove all the traffic lights. Let the chaos begin. This is the real problem. All this traffic is backing up all the way through this tunnel. Look. The traffic is just insane. Maybe we should have like a super large bridge between these two cities and let people take that. Rather than going all the way through that. Just like... Whew. Big suspension bridge. You found it only helps when intersections are close together. Otherwise, it makes things worse. Fair enough. Well, I think things are flowing a little bit better. Looks like it. Well, that guy doing a U-turn probably doesn't help traffic. Which line is that? It's the 
food drop off. Oh my god, look at that. We have to split the food line as well. More big city problems. Uh, can you put a training cars across the bridge? Um, I don't. Yes, I think you could. Um, if you create a, the correct road, yeah, it should work. I don't see why it wouldn't. Is this the food pickup? No, that's grain. Where's the food coming from? Montana Central. Oh, the food gets dropped off. I remember. I think. You just got to start a transport fever. What do you recommend to do and focus on the start? Simple industry. Play it in sandbox. Put it on easy mode. Focus on, on basic industry. Oil. Crude oil to oil. Oil to fuel. Ship that into a city. Move passengers. Food and grain. Oil and fuel, just do them. <clears throat> See, this is going to be tricky because I need to expand this. And they're not going to want me to do that. So somebody is going to have to go boom. Half a billion boom. Enjoy your bike, DK Trucker. food drop Right, that should spread the trucks out better as well. <clears throat> uh, what kind of trucks are those that are stationed? They look rather outdated. Yes, they've just been replaced. <laughs> They're very old trucks. Man, that congestion is unreal. So they've got a connecting road here. They've also... They've got, 
they've got a lot of traffic on that road. Thinking they need more than one connection. Yeah, it's a bit weird, Baz. Mind you, some people live right next to a train station or a train line. I wouldn't. I don't know. don't know whether to... Um, I mean, they've got this... Here's the thing. They've got a ferry connection already, but it's been served by this guy. And there's not really huge demand. But the ferry. Maybe we should put a lot of swamp boats on there as well, just blasting past the ferry. <laughs> Actually, this city's expanding this way. Maybe we just bring them in that way. Maybe There you go. What about that? Just a road across there. Just create this massive loop. <laughs> then make it one way. Mwahaha. I'm going to have to have a hay for you at I've not taken one in like a week. Vrome, thank you for 82 months, by the way. And Maso, thank you very much for subbing. Welcome. Sorry I missed your sub. chair hype. Not for long. You can't trust that chair. I wonder if we've got too many trams just bouncing into each other. I should probably split these lines. Like, the green line is huge. You play it without industries, just public transport. That can't work. Like if you don't feed a city with what it needs, you're you're only ever growing this. You're not going to grow this. But it can work. But wait, why are we getting no food all of a sudden? You spent six hours in a traffic jam, dude. Right, there's there's a supply chain breakdown here. We're not getting food into the city. There should be food right here and there's not. And not a lot of grain. Uh, you can work the public transport to the later point of game. You need industry to get a big city. Yep, I agree. I think you're doing it the wrong way around, Logan. You should do industry first and then tax later. Because at the end of the day, right, if you move industry between cities where they need it, they'll grow. When they grow, the packs will automatically try to travel to other cities and they'll do it via the road network, which means you'll get 
passengers moving anyway, which you see here, this here, private transport, that will grow. You just won't be growing it here. But you can grow that later. However, this will never automatically grow, ever. You have to do this yourself. This can happen on its own. So personally, I think you're doing it the wrong way around. Yes, Wallmas, the ship routes take a while to establish. The best thing to do is set up the line, drop one ship in, and just let it connect. And then as the as the kind of demand picks up, then you could drop the ships in. There's no other way of doing it. Baz, this is literally what I'm trying to solve, mate. This is what I'm saying. Why is there no food getting in? So the food should come in on the trucks to here, but there's no food coming in from Fontana Food 1 or 2. That's supposed to come in from Temecula Fontana, which is the blue line, which is losing 8 million. So that should come in from here. From there specifically. So this guy here brings some grain in, I think. And then he wants to take food back to Fontana. So he's dropping a lot of grain off. Pick it up a small amount of food. Fontana's getting nothing. I don't know why. It's... Temecula's getting all the food. Did I... Is it when I messed about with the food... Um, routing here, did I break something? So I put one there. And I put one here. So it should drop off at Park Street and it should drop off at Church Street, which is correct. There's definitely demand. There's a huge amount of demand. Maybe it's this... Uh, Good old traffic nightmare causing problems. Great. I think we're getting crippled by congestion. <coughs> That's what's happening. Yeah, I've upgraded that road, but I can't upgrade this road because of the train station. I might have to just delete this section of road and just redo it as a straight line. Just need to get that connection, that's all.
same with this. If you put the street access here and then get rid of that and that. doesn't like this angle. And the tram station. Well, this one probably needs it. Road or not. Why does this look like it's not got tram track on it? Right. Train terminal's disconnected now. Connected from what? Oh, this. Oh, the passenger side. Is that why I had that? Just need a small road, don't I? Just need a token road to connect that. Seems to be linked. As for this, we've got two lines going in there. I'm making a circuit. We can make it longer.
Right, I need to fix this. Yeah, the residents will come back. I mean, we've paid them off. We're paying them a lot of money to leave. Not too worried about that. I want to get rid of that. For some reason, it won't let me build here. How weird's that? gone that way annoyingly I could probably un waypoint that now Um, I don't know if roundabouts are a thing in this game, really, Echolos. That's why. <coughs> we might just have too many trams. I mean, 12 of those on each line, that's a lot. Let's try that. <clears throat> Just trying to put too many trams through the system. Right, we've got a bit of food coming in. the comments on the station think some cargo shenanigans are happening. Yeah, it could be best. Which station? I don't see any. Unless you mean... Is it that? It's driving it around. Let's do...
They shouldn't be. They're set to unload only, so it can't be there. Must be the food trucks then. Wait. Why is Fontana food truck set to load Conman? How does that work? <laughs> that doesn't seem right. <laughs> does not seem right at all. That could explain why the food problem is taking place. Right, okay, so we're picking up, let's see, we're picking up Conmat from here. We're taking it to Smith Street and we're unloading. That's fine. We are waiting for full, let's do like two minutes. Okay, that's that. And then we've got this problem. Oh, I see some con there. So then we've got the food truck, which is supposed to pick up food from here. And food from here. And then go and unload it in the street. That's what's supposed to happen. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> Meanwhile, the grain truck is unloading everything here that it's picking up in Tallahassee, which can only realistically pick up grain in Tallahassee. That's fine. 87% transported. Okay. That would explain the food crisis in Fontana. Interestingly, though, when I um, when I when you create another food line, because you just create a new line and then change the name, you don't think about the filters, so you end up creating a second line with not the correct filter on it. I don't know if they need another truck, to be honest. I think they might serve it. Hundred percent. We'll see. Okay, we're getting grain now. This is good. That's better. Let's go and check on the food production. Okay, that's better. That's more like it. Say about that, pretty old. They've been running. How long have they been running? About about forty years. Sixty-two years. Wow. <laughs> Faithful service. Probably don't need as many trucks now. moving stone around in those things should we moving stone around in those
Okay, that will help that. Um, what else have we got grain-wise? Oh dear, I've got a lot of con mats sitting here. Actually, 98% being moved. That's a pretty good balance. Okay, well, we've fixed another few problems. What else have we got? This town is just ridiculously big. Look at the... Look at the demand for food and fuel. 1,200 each. Ninja, how are you doing? That's just bonkers. I can bet you the food is not being dropped off in the right place. Right, so the food and the oil and the gas comes in via rail, which goes into here. Yeah. That's quite a big distribution area. Is there a max size? It depends if you're running the mod or not. But if you're running the mod, the size is way bigger, but there is still a game fixed max size, I think. Use the tab on the left to check cargo drops. Okay. Which tab? Streets? Do you mean something in here? Astro Steve, thank you for four or six months, by the way. Top left cargo filter. Okay. We're like delayed. Should we start with which screen are we in? Line screen? Cargo screen? This screen? You see something on the screen and say top left, and I've gone somewhere else already. That's the issue. Right, okay, so top left of this, and then we're going to go contour tracks. You mean this one, cargo drops? You know, like that? A layer, yeah. But that doesn't tell me... God's sake, look at the state of this. I think we've got... see so at the moment I think we're dropping fuel to here and I think we're dropping food here Which is not really serving any of this. Go across where one gets distributed at the moment, Baz. So I think the fuel is still correct, but I think we need another one down here. I think we need to split the fuel. Like down there. And the food needs another drop over here somewhere. Food one.
I can barely see that. Multiple drops uh, don't help. I don't think so, because what will happen is the truck will go to the first stop and probably drop everything at a guess. Right, now we're going to have to have a look at the vehicle situation. Six vehicles. Nice to upgrade the road here, but it's not going to happen. Adam Aaron, thank you for 31 months. Uh, saw me 70 months since you uh, played Roller Coaster Tycoon. What can I say about the last 70 months? End of message. <laughs> Hope you all do. We have an absolute outpouring of passengers over here. Oh, but they're all good. Just walk to the station. Um, yeah, this. How many lines have we got going in? We may have to make more platforms. I think this has currently got lots of passenger platforms. Collision. What? We'll see about that. It won't let me delete this. It just says collision. Like, what the heck? You know what? I think it's probably easier to just trash the station and put it back. <laughs> Scumbag collision. It's uh, JME. Thank you for 19 months.
Oh, that's a good idea or not. Right, 30 meters. Double platforms. Right, is it going to catch up on that, do you think? I was just going to freak out. And the answer is, it's going to freak out. Uh, Hambly, thank you for gifting two subs. Welcome, guys. Appreciate the support, Hambly. So we'll do that. It doesn't like this at all. The station appears consecutively twice. Is it because I didn't put it close enough to where it wanted it? Maybe I have to put that like on that box for it to work. It sometimes reconnects if you click on that red spanner. This one? Could not connect stations. They don't like it. <laughs> it wasn't exact enough for it. That was the problem. wasn't in the right pixel. Yeah, because it was in a slightly different place, it gave it a different name, I think. I don't know. It's, it, it called them both Annex, but it just didn't treat it the same way. get a better food and fuel drop off. I don't know if there's going to be enough for it though. line, that's the oil and gas line here. Sixty fuel, is that all? That's running pretty empty. Hmm. Maybe we've got too many trains on that line. Or we have some kind of supply problem. He's running flat out. Enable the experimental extra map size. It started a huge map with 30-something cities and 300-plus industries. My computer hates me. Yeah, I can see that being a problem later. <laughs> mm. 
I guess so, Buzz. That can't be served any better. That's running flat out as much as it can take. There's a few industries scattered around that we're not really using yet. That's flat out. Yeah, using mods. Um, Imp, if you check Discord in the memos chat, I have a um, collection, Steam collection, which lists the mods I've got. What can we move that steel? We go there and make tools. I'll tell you what we're not making. We're not making machines. Never made machines. And machines requires planks and steel. Steel we can get from here. Potentially. Planks are... A bit of an issue. There, maybe. It's a bit awkward. They are a pain to make, Buzz. They really are. Particularly when the resources are nowhere nearby. There is um, another factory up there. Which has... So there's log, log, so two logs into one plank, so bam, bam, bang, planks into here. So there's a supply chain right there, which can be linked by road, which would bring the planks into that factory. Funnily enough, Huntington needs tools as well, and it has a tool factory right on its doorstep. <laughs> so that could be handy. The only thing we need to get into it is steel, and steel could be made here. And then maybe transported and then shipped over. Oh, is it in? Fair enough. I think Pups must have put it there because I only just made it. Fair enough. I wasn't sure. Fly the steel bars. You can't fly steel from here to here. Are you mad? Look at it. Something like that. Time it's taken off and landed. Okay, I guess the game doesn't want to show me the goods. That's doing quite well. Yeah, that I don't know if that airport could take a lot of planes flying steel. Yeah, we've, we're training steel to Huntington, but it's being consumed by that factory. So it's already being used for something else. Which we're making here. So yeah, that's pretty much flat out. There's no... There's no spare capacity in that. However, what we could do is click on that. Suppliers. So there's, let's see. There's one here. Which is no good because there's... N Unless we can ship ore to that. There's a factory there as well. Scumbag. That's not being hit. That's not being hit. That's not being hit. That's not being hit. There's a lot of coal... And iron ore here. Which could be taken to that factory, potentially. Actually, there's coal, coal, coal. That is not short of coal. In your experience, planes are best reserved for passengers. Never had a great experience flying goods. Well, hold that thought, Astro Steve. Just hold that thought, mate. What do you see at the bottom of my screen here? What do you see? In the top three earners for profit, what do you see? My most profitable line, and it's never been beat yet in this game, is flying oil and returning back with fuel and the finances are crazy 
So you can make it work. And the same with goods. And that's a one-way trip, that one. We make On this one, we make profit in both directions because you fly oil in one direction, you fly fuel back. In this one, we fly out and then fly the goods back. And we're still making killer profit. More than any of the trains. So, yeah, it definitely works. Okay, or, or, coal, coal, station. Now we take the steel out of here. How do we get the steel from here to here? That's the next question. Oil is black gold. Whether you train it or you fly it, oil is, a, is just a monster profit earner. Well, what we could do, Ajax, is just put them on a um, increased maintenance plan. Steel, where are you? So, steel, ships, hmm, that is awkward. If you fly it, we're going to clog up this airport. If you build another runway, we're going to Huntingdon's going to hate us. It's tricky to rail it. Is that the only steel factory? Oh, hello. So there's a steel factory right there. Well, a machines factory. But then we need to get the wood into there instead. What about the big bride replacing the ferry? What does that mean? Oh yeah, Asmo. Dude, you would never fly steel around like that. That's just insane. Not like you can easily hook into that. There's one log. A lot of these logs are being hit up already. There's a plank factory right there. And we're hitting that log, but not that one. The resources are everywhere. Wow, there's like... What? There's a forest right there. I don't see any simple supply chains. Where's independence? One more. Hmm. 
Hmm. Now, it strikes me that there's already a cargo station here. Which we're using for oil. It's a dedicated cargo line. With that next to it. It's not unfeasible to generate planks there and then bring them on the train this way. Continue that line to the so we could get the planks to there but where do we get the logs from well there's a log up the road and there's also a log here so you could chuck logs on that same line and those logs could probably be trucked down so that gets you the planks to there I think it's doable with one. I don't know if we'll be able to supply enough planks, though. If we need any more logs, then the next step is to bring them in from here, which means kind of shipping them in there, I guess. Dropping them in the same supply chain there. Just have a depot here and just drop those into that depot and just let these trucks take it. That would get us four logs into there, which would probably top it out. That would then get us a load of planks to this. And there's coal and iron ore. One, one. There's like two iron ore there. Two coal here. Another one, another one. So we can get that going. So then we create the machines. And then how do we sell the machines? Who are the buyers? Newark doesn't have an airport and it's quite a long way away so potentially they could buy them if you fly them down there Port St. Lucie will buy them and Huntingdon will buy them they're the only ones but it then means creating an airport near this lot because training that those machines north to south is a long way biggest port St. Lucie 1800 Two and a half thousand and going down. Eighteen hundred and going down. Stations are very poor, apparently. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 